Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to solve a few word problems that also include some estimation. Okay, one biology textbook has 1688 pages and another has 1425 pages. You might not have seen such heavy and thick textbooks, but they do exist when you go into college, university level. So what is the difference in the page counts? How do you find out the difference of two numbers? You should know by now, right? You subtract the numbers. And so we need to subtract those two. Before we do, let's do a quick estimate, okay? Using rounded numbers. And I'm gonna round this to the nearest hundred, which makes it 1,700. And this one rounded to the nearest hundred, we get 1,400. So the difference is about 300 pages. And then we calculate exactly over here. Okay, that looks like an easy subtraction because there is no regrouping. 3, 6, 2, 0. 263 pages is the difference. And that is close to our estimate, so all is well. In a game, Jared has 2,354 points. He will need 5,000 points to get to the next level. Now he earns 800 points by selling blueberries. And I put that one there to make Matthew happy. Okay, you like blueberries, right? Yeah, happy. How many more points does he still need? Okay, maybe you want to read that again if it's not clear in your mind. Jared has this many points. He needs 5,000 points to get to the next level. And now he's going to earn his earning 800 points. So how many more points does he still need? to have that 5,000 points. Okay, he has this many now. He earns 800. So we first add 2,354 and 800. Notice I need to line up my hundreds, tens and ones, okay? I don't line up the eight under the two because two is for the thousands. And we get four and five and 11 and three, okay? And now, how many more points does he still need to have 5,000 points? He has 3,154. Okay, we could add up from here till 5,000, or we can subtract. Let's subtract. Again, we are finding the difference between his current point count and the 5,000. Okay, now here we go regrouping. Okay, I hope you have practiced this well. Zero minus four is what you cannot do. So I need to go all the way to the thousands. Take 1,000, leave four here. And then over here, 10, 10 hundreds. But take one of them and put it over here. And then take one of the tens, it goes here. You notice these nines and tens, okay. 10 minus four, nine minus five, nine minus one, four minus three. So he would need 1,846 points more. But let's also check this. Did I get it right? How do you check the answer for subtraction problem? Remember, take your answer, take this number here and add. So we get 10. Here is 10, 2, and 10, and 5. 5,000. All is well. Can a sports club buy three surfboards for $685 each and two kite boards for $799 each if they have 4,000 to spend? They have $4,000 and they want to buy all this stuff. Can they do it? Over here is a great example where we can use estimation to answer this problem. We don't actually need to add all those difficult numbers to figure out the total cost. We can estimate. We can take the three surfboards three times and then this rounded to the nearest hundred is 700. And it is rounded up. 
and then I have two kite boards and this number rounded up to 800. Okay. What would be three times 700? Now you don't need to multiply, you can add. 700 plus 700 plus 700. You should get 2,100. And then 2 times 800, or 800 and 800 is 1,600. And now I take the total, so I get 3,700. So it looks like they will be able to buy those things. And it indeed is so, because in reality these prices are a little bit less than the numbers I used here in my estimation. Is that Matthew? Oh, he wants to go surfing. Surfing? Kite surfing too? Yeah, that would be neat. Lastly, find the change in the previous problem. Okay. If they go and buy all that stuff and they pay with $4,000, find the change. So, now it looks like we will need to add these particular numbers to find the exact cost, right? Though I can think of another way too. But let me show you first the adding. If I just start adding, here's the surfboard, another, another, and then the kite board, and another, right? Add all those. Okay. Here's 15. Here's 18. 15 plus 18 is 33. And then we have 3 eighths. You can multiply. 24. So 24 plus 3, 27. And then we get 36, 45. And then this would be 10, 12. That's 22. Plus 14. So we get 36, right? So that would be the total cost. Now, find the change. They pay with $4,000. And the total cost is here. So now we need to subtract, right? Or we could add up too. Okay. Again, these strings of 10s and 9s. All right, so all done. The change is $347. And I want to show you, or at least explain to you, the other way you could solve this. And that is when you think, how much is this different from the estimation? And how much is this different from the estimation? Here there's only $1 difference. Here there's $15 of difference. Okay, so you could take three times the $15 which is 45, and take the $2 from there, which makes $47. And so the total cost would be $47 less than 3,700, which is here, okay? And then you would find the change using the normal method. All right, but we're all done with this lesson.